Hello everyone and welcome to our new and improved Lottie editor. We have improved the UI and aligned it with the rest of the Lottie Files platform as well as added a bunch of new features. In this video, as we demo through the Lottie editor, we'll be converting this good morning Lottie into a good night Lottie without leaving the Lottie editor. Let's get started. You can access the Lottie editor from your Lottie Files platform, Lottie Public Library, as well as Icon Scout. From the new features, we'll explore the layer section first. You can click and drag to move around the layers and change their order. You can hide and unhide any layer you want, as well as delete it. Deleting will help you reduce the size of the Lottie. After you make any changes and hit save, the changes will be reflected on the saved Lottie. You can choose to save as a new animation or save changes. To undo any changes, just hit Command Z. So we want to change this good morning Lottie to a good night Lottie. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change this text. To change the text layer, click on the text layer and edit the text. Once you're done, hit update text. Now we'll move forward with changing the colors of this animation. The first thing we'll do is we'll change the color of this face. So as you can see on the right bar, we have unique colors and we have all colors. All colors host all the colors that are inside this Lottie, while unique colors group all the common colors. For precise selection of any shape, click on the X-ray view and then click on your desired shape. As you can see, it has identified the unique colors inside the shape. I'll click on the color and edit the hex code. Next, I'll also change this color to the same color. Okay, now we'll change the color of these cheeks. So we'll identify the color from the unique colors and we'll edit the hex code. Great, now we'll change the color of these stars. We'll go to the unique color section and we'll change the color of the stars. Now we'll change the color of this cloud. We'll click on it and we'll change the hex code. And we'll do the same for the rest of the clouds. Now we'll change the color of the sky. As you can see, the sky is made up of a gradient. So once we click on the sky layer, we can see all the unique colors inside the gradient. We'll manipulate them one by one, starting with the dark color, and then the next one. We'll adjust the colors to make the gradient smoother. Another awesome feature of the Lottie editor is that you can change an image on a Lottie. So we'll change this PNG of a sun to a PNG of a moon. We'll hover over the image and click replace image. We'll identify our asset and click open. This will instantly replace the asset. As you can see, we have edited all the colors. Let's play the animation. Great, everything works perfectly. One last thing before we end is that when you go to the settings section, you can see that you can change the frame rate, duration, as well as the dimensions of the Lottie animation. So there you have it. We made all these changes to the Lottie without exiting the Lottie editor. We did not have to open After Effects or any sort of animation software. All the changes were done in the editor. So this was an overview of the new and improved features in the Lottie editor. Thanks for watching.